it is the first full day of spring, yet the weather still has that winter feel as the wet weather is moving through. I'm just wondering how long it's going to last. Mm -hmm. We're keeping a close eye on the roads, though, throughout the newscast as you prepare to get out the door this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bria Love. Let's get straight to team coverage. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo out in the elements this morning, keeping a close eye on conditions. But first, we do weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Jordan watches the roads from Stockton, Modesto, even Los Angeles this morning, where they're having quite the challenge. Rob, of course, has the forecast. So, Rob, depending on where you mm -hmm. are, what are you getting right now? Exactly. So, if you're in Sacramento, you just saw Bridget there, who's in Sacramento. We're dry. This is good news. That means you've got a dry commute if you leave at the moment. But if you're in Stockton or Modesto, you're in it right now, and that's going to be the case for the rest of the morning. So, again, this is a wet commute. Timing is really important on this one. And as it's going, you always got to watch for spin outs and crashes because you may be the best driver in the world, but everyone else has to be on board once the rain starts and continues to rain through the rest of this morning. Uh, this is going to be on and off, by the way, after this initial wave of, of rain moving through for the next couple of days. So your planning is pretty simple. A jacket and an umbrella and the possibility of thunderstorms late in the afternoon as well as this system is really just getting going. This is the early stages of this and it hasn't even deepened and bottomed out off the coast yet. So this is the initial wave moving through. Like I mentioned, if you're in Sacramento, some good news as the storm's still continuing to move in, but just clouds at the moment. We did get some overnight rain, but we're clear for now. In Stockton, Modesto, Tracy, Turlock, Hillmar, you name it, everywhere, basically San Joaquin Valley uh, down to the south, we are looking at steady, consistent rain. But like I mentioned, it, it continues to move in. And the other element of this storm is the wind. The wind has not even arrived yet. It's calm right now, but later on this afternoon, gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. So just imagine that on and off rain, some thunderstorms and gusty winds as this continues to move in through the rest of this morning. So for more on this early morning commute and where it's raining and where it isn't, we're going to talk to Bridget Biorlo. And Bridget, just mentally speaking, we had a beautiful day yesterday. I was ready for the first day of spring to switch over and get into that mode. But you know what? We're just not done with the wet weather. And here we go again. A lot of us are feeling that winter weather fatigue, Rob. We thought we moved past winter, finally crossed into spring today. After all, the first full day of spring, but it just doesn't feel like it. You mentioned the wind, the wind certainly picking up where we are. We're seeing on and off rain as well, and it is impacting your morning drive. So let's take a live look at conditions on Interstate 5. As you can see, traffic is moving nicely in both directions. No problem spots from our vantage point, but things are changing fast. You are going to want to take it slow out there. Give yourself plenty of space between you and the driver in front of you, because if they have a problem and hit a slick spot, that could easily affect you and the drivers behind you. So all things to keep in mind. Now I'm a positive person, so let's talk about the positives. The good news is it's great to see green grass for a change, right? You're going to see that all over town with all of the rain we've been seeing. Also, our water levels are in really good shape. 75% at Lake Shasta currently and also fire season. The fire season, a lot of people tell me, is likely going to be delayed. We're not going to see those intense fires June, July. It might be October, November, but we are seeing a lot of that new vegetation growth, which could possibly become fuel for fire. So keep that in mind as well. As far as the roads are looking, we are looking good in the downtown area. More rain is expected to move in. So pack your umbrella, pack your patience as well. Jordan is tracking conditions in the studio. Any issues on your end, Jordan, or are things still looking okay? Things are looking for the most part okay, but what I really want to talk about here is what to do if your car starts to hydroplane. If you saw a little bit earlier, and I'll show you another look later on in the newscast, we're looking at Los Angeles along the 101 freeway where there was a lot of ponding and actually flooding on that freeway. It kind of looked like a river instead of a main freeway there. So here's what to do if your car starts to hydroplane and starts to spin out. So take your foot off the gas, but don't brake because that will definitely make it worse turn into the spin. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, but steer into that spin and allow your tires to kind of start to align and then wait for that reconnect. The whole reason 
that your uh, car starts to skid is because the traction that's between the road and your tires is actually disrupted by whatever's on the road. That could be water, mud, debris, those kinds of things. And that's when your car starts to spin out. So just keep those things in mind as you head out the door today. Even if it's not raining where you are and you're just about to leave, you might uh, come into contact with some ponding on the roadways as well. And it really doesn't take much for your car to lose control. Around the Sacramento area, like I said, things are looking really clear for the most part, whether you're going from Natomas to downtown Sacramento, maybe Elk Grove toward downtown Sacramento this morning. Through the Tracy Triangle, one crash already this morning, westbound 580 at North Flynn Road. So watch out for that if you are headed toward the Bay Area. And you're definitely, if you're headed westbound on 580, going to go right into that rainy uh, roadways and those rainy conditions out there. So just be vigilant and keep those tips in mind if your car starts to hydroplane this morning. All right, Jordan, thank you. All right, we have some new images out of the Lake Tahoe area for you this morning. Residents bracing for even more snow today. Now, the snow up there has buried cars and homes in South Lake Tahoe. As you know, it's blanketing roads more than eight feet in some locations. Roofs have caved in on several businesses and many people's homes. Yeah, it's just been constant snow this whole winter. So uh, one storm after another, and we'll have a little break with some sun, and then we get back at it. So. It's been pretty crazy. So, uh, a fussy babies too, they're cooped in. And this is usually the time of the year that snow actually begins to melt. And where we're looking at right now is more snow actually coming in. And make sure you download our free ABC 10 app to keep up with the latest information on weather conditions, road and school closures.